The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Jose Martin Mass takes on Miami Palmetto High tonight on School Duel. Welcome to the 10th anniversary season of School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. Now the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and South Florida Chick-fil-A. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now as you see, this quarterfinal game features Jose Martin Mass versus Miami Palmetto High in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the semifinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. Yes. And one more thing before the battle begins, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike. In this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. First question deals with spelling. Spell the word site, as in this corner is the site of a future Walmart. Lindsay? S-I-T-E. Good job. Artist, his painting, Salvatore Mundi, that features Jesus giving a blessing, was auctioned off in 2017 for more than $400 million. Name this Renaissance artist who created many iconic works, including Adonis. Michelangelo. Incorrect, Jose Martin Mas, including The Last Supper. Christopher. Da Vinci. Yes, good job. All right, we're going to move on to wars. The first one of these events in 1095 granted indulgence to those, Vincent? Crusade. Very good. <laughs> Grammar. A semicolon usually connects two of what type of clauses, Daniel? Independent. Yes, good job. <laughs> From Latin. The words accurate, curator, and pedicure all come from the Latin root cura, which means what four-letter word in English that is what a hospital patient receives from doctors and nurses, Lindsay? A cure. Incorrect, Jose Marti. It's a four-letter word in English that is what a hospital patient receives from doctors and nurses to help him or her feel better and recover faster. Darius? A cure. Incorrect, it's care. All right, let's move on to fossils. Scientists recently found a fossil in China with cone-shaped structures that may have allowed water to escape and thus been a forerunner of what organs used by fish to breathe underwater, Vincent? Gills. Yes, good job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by McFadder Technical College in Davie. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. This 1964 American musical fantasy film was produced by Disney and also became a Broadway musical. Yes, Daniel. Mary Poppins. Yes, very good. And here's a tidbit about Mary Poppins. The movie received a total of 13 Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture, a record for any film released by Walt Disney Studios. Let's move on to organizations. This organization's first president was a Civil War general. Name this conservative organization whose 2018 World Shooting Championship in West Virginia, Christopher? NRA. Yes, good job. Okay, money math. A local sandwich shop raised the price of its subs from $6 to $9. What was the percentage of increase, Vincent? 50. Good job. Activists. The date when he was killed is now a National Martyrs Day in India, and his... Yes, Vincent? Gandhi. Yes, good job. 
Holidays, the material used during church services on this day is sometimes created from burning the palm fronds. Yes, Lindsay? Ash. Incorrect, Jose Marti. It's created from burning the palm fronds used on the previous Palm Sunday. Name this midweek holy day that follows Shrove Tuesday or Mardi Gras. Christopher. Ash Wednesday. Yes, very good. Oh, that's my horn, and that means the end of the first strike round. We do have Miami Palmetto leading. They have 70 points. Jose Marti Mass has 30 points, but we will be right back with more school duel after these messages. I'm Abia Abia. I represent College Academy on the inaugural episode of School Duel. I'm currently an emergency physician at Mount Sinai Hospital in Manhattan. I'm so excited that 10 years of students got to have as much fun as I did on School Duel. And it was so much fun that I also gave it a try. Hi, my name is Daniel Abia. I was on season five of School Duel with Miramar High School. I'm currently at Northwestern University studying chemistry and School Duel was just so much fun. I had a great time and I hope that I can take on for many more years in the future. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. with Miami Palmetto leading. They have 70 points. Jose Martin Mast has 30 points. Now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. I'm Christopher, I'm a senior, I'm team captain, go Silver Knights. Hi, I'm Indor, I'm a senior, go Silver Knights. Hi, I'm Darius, I'm a senior, go Silver Knights. Hi, I'm Jose, I'm a senior, and go Silver Knights. Hi, I'm Alejandra, I'm a junior, go Silver Knights. Mr. Harvard, Mr. Harvard, do you have anything to say about today's competition? Um, I wish the other team good luck because they're really going to need it. Mr. Stanford? Mm -hmm. Mr. Stanford? Mr. Stanford? Mr. Stanford? Yeah. How's your day? Um, pretty Stanford day. Mr. Hopkins? Yahoo? Can I get a Yahoo? No. Okay. Mr. Emery? Believe <laughs> Ready, Silver Knights? Shields up! Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a senior, I'm team captain, go Panthers! Hi, I'm Vincent, I'm a senior, go Panthers! Hi, I'm Adonis, I'm a senior, go Panthers! Hi, I'm Lindsay, I'm a senior, go Panthers! Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a junior, go Panthers! Deep in concentration. Go back, go home, you're through. How could I make a man out of you? The Panthers came to take a bite out of the competition. Go, go Panthers! Let's hear it for both schools. 
now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust. It's presented by Public Supermarkets. This is where a player from each school competes head to head with a toss up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. We will have Christopher and Daniel start us off. Here's your toss of question worth 10 points. Coming to English from German, this still existing brand of car means people's car in German. Yes, Christopher? Volkswagen. Yes, good job. Yeah. All right, Jose Martimas, the following bonus questions all deal with words that came to English from German. Bonus question number one, it means empire or kingdom. Hitler thought of Nazi Germany as the third one. Indar. Reich. Very good. Bonus question number two. This term for lightning war can also be used in chess or sports. Yes, Jose? Blitzkrieg. Yes, good job. <laughs> Bonus question number three. This German word used in English means someone's double and is often used in literature. Indar. Doppelganger. Yes, good job, well done. All right, Darius and Lindsay, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Doctors disagree over whether they should be removed if they're not causing problems. Yes, Lindsay? Tumors. Incorrect. Darius, give the common two-word term for these third molars that can cause severe mouth pain. They're your wisdom teeth. I have another question for both of you. Also dealing with the mouth, these may have chapstick applied to them in the winter. Lindsay? Lips. Yes, good job. Yeah. All right, Palmetto, here we go. The following bonus questions all deal with the mouth. Bonus question number one. Plaque, a substance largely consisting of bacteria, produces acids that eat into what hard Adonis? Enamel. Yes, good job. Yeah. Bonus question number two. Anything that touches this tissue hanging down in the back of your throat will trigger, yes, Daniel? Uvula. Very good. Yeah. Bonus question number three. This flap stays open when breathing, but closes when swallowing to keep food out of your breathing passages. Name it. Vincent. Harphalange. Incorrect, it's your epiglottis. All right, Vincent and Jose, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your top of question worth 10 points. High intensity sound waves caused by explosions, lightning, or the supersonic flight of airplanes are called what kinds of waves? Yes, Jose? Hypersonic waves. Incorrect, Vincent? Yes? Sound waves. Incorrect, they are shock waves. Here's your extra question. Which of the two types of commercial radio carrier waves has the greater range, AM or FM? Yes, Jose. FM. Incorrect, Vincent. Yes. AM. Yes, correct. All right, Palmetto. The following bonus questions all deal with waves in physics. Bonus question number one. Particles in a longitudinal wave move in this direction. Daniel? Up and down. Incorrect, it's parallel. Bonus question number two. Particles in a transverse wave move in this direction with respect to the direction of energy. Adonis. Perpendicular? Yes. And bonus question number three. In a surface wave, seen often in water, particles move in this direction. Vincent. Circle. Very good. Excellent. All right, my last two, Indar and Adonis, come on down. Here's your toss of question worth 10 points. It produces hormones important to your body, which you may not notice until it starts malfunctioning. Name this gland in your neck. Yes, Indar? Thyroid. Yes, good job. Yeah. All right, Jose Martimas, the following bonus questions all deal with your thyroid. Bonus question number one. The thyroid is divided into these two major divisions. Your brain has four of them. Christopher. Lobes. Yes, good job. Yeah. Second bonus question. Some thyroid hormones contain this element, often added to table salt to ensure everyone gets enough. Christopher. Iodine. Yes, good job. Bonus question number three. An enlarged thyroid gland is called by this term. Christopher. Hyperthyroid. Incorrect, it's goiter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that buzzer means the end of the joust. 
We currently have Palmetto leading. They have 130 points. Jose Martin Mass not too far behind with 100 points. We will be back with more School Duel just after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Three, focus, and go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school duel champion. Now today's quarterfinal game has Jose Marti Mass competing against Miami Palmetto High School. Currently, Palmetto is leading. They have 130 points. Jose Marti Mass has 100 points. It is now time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Now, since Jose Marti Mass is trailing, they get to go first while Miami Palmetto waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Now, today's category is starts with W. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter W. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So here comes rapid action. Jose Marti Mast starts with W. We are going to cue music and we're going to begin. State whose cities include Rollins, Cody, and Laramie. Christopher. Wisconsin. Remove these from your clothes with an iron. Indar. Wrinkles. A round bottomed metal pan used in Chinese cooking. Indar. Walk. A large vortex of water or a major appliance maker. Christopher. Whirlpool. The part of your body with lunate and scaphoid bones. Darius. Wrist. A small roll of material such as money or tobacco. Indar. Wad. This actor starred in Fences, Training Day, and Malcolm X. The Indar. Denzel Washington. James Thurber, character who daydreams of success. Indar. William. Last name of Brave Hearts, William. Christopher. Wallace. This Boston school calls itself the world's preeminent college for women. 
Darius. Wellesley. Very good. All right, Jose Martinez, we got through all your questions. Good job. Okay, now with a little TV magic, let's bring in Miami Palmetto High. And welcome back, Miami Palmetto. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with W. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter W. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and let's begin. State whose cities include Rollins, Cody, and Laramie. Adonis. Wyoming. Remove these from your clothes with an iron. Lindsay. Wrinkles. A round-bottomed metal pan used in Chinese cooking. Lindsay. Walk. A large vortex of water or a major appliance. Adonis. Whirlpool. The part of your body with lunate and scaphoid bones. Lindsay. Wrist. A small roll of material such as money or tobacco. Lindsay. Wad. This actor starred in Fences, Training Day, and Malcolm X. Adonis. Denzel Washington. James Thurber character who daydreams of success. Adonis. Waldo. Last name of Bravehearts William. Adonis. Wallace. This Boston school calls itself the world's preeminent college for women. Lindsay. Wellesley. All right, very good. And that sound brings an end to the rapid action round. There was only one question that both schools missed. And the question they both missed is James Thurber character who daydreams of success is Walter Mitty. All right, currently Palmetto is leading. They have 220 points. Jose Martin Mass has 180 points, but let's take a short break. And then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school moves on to the semifinals of School Duel. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. We've got a good game going as Miami Palmetto is holding on to their lead over Jose Martin Mast. Our current scores are 220 to 180. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is our last round. The schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are worth 20 points. And just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. This is for a spot in the semifinals. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with fractions. In the fascinating world of fractions, what is the term for the digit that appears above the denominator, Christopher? Numerator. Animated accents. According to voice artist Mel Blanc, Bugs Bunny's accent was intended to be a mixture of Brooklyn and what other New York borough? Indar. Bronx. The NFL. In 2018, he helped get this team to within one win of the Super Bowl. Name this former quarterback of the NFL's Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, Adonis? Jose Marti, Indar? Portals. Rodents. American Red, Eastern Gray, and Fox are among the common. Christopher? Miami Palmetto, American Red, Eastern Gray, and Fox are among the common species of what bushy-tailed rodent known for hiding nuts? Lindsay. Squirrels. Games. What iconic game did Milton Bradley originally name Broadsides, a game of naval strategies? 
Adonis. Battleship. Italian. Coming from Italian, this four-letter word means a celebrated female singer, but can also mean a woman who is demanding. Diva. Oil. The world's largest oil company is in what Middle Eastern? Yes, Vincent? Saudi Arabia. Spelling. A person undergoing dental surgery may receive some local anesthesia. Spell anesthesia. Yes, Indar. A-N-E-S-T-H-E-S-I-A. TV stars. She was known as tough in the family court system even before she began her run on TV. Yes, Vincent? Judge Judy. TV networks. In 2007, this network postponed its Republican presidential debate because only one candidate planned to attend. Name this rival of Telemundo, Indar. Univision. Supreme Court. What Supreme Court Chief Justice administered? Yes, Adonis? Thurgood Marshall. Incorrect. Jose Marti. What Supreme Court Chief Justice administered the oath of office to President Trump? Yes, Indar? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. It's John Roberts. Truffles. One type of truffle grown in the southern U.S. is named for this tree it grows near, whose nuts make really good pies. Vincent. Pecan. Elements. Used in a variety of products, NICAD batteries have electrodes made from nickel. Yes, Adonis? Lithium. Incorrect. Jose Marti. NICAD batteries have electrodes made from nickel and what rare chemical element with atomic number 48? Indar. Admium. Greek letters. A staple of fraternity and sorority row, what Greek letter looks like a capital E? Yes, Indar. Sigma. Incorrect. Palmetto? Adonis. Epsilon. Borders. Which state forms most of Tennessee's eastern border? Yes, Christopher. North Carolina. Central America. Name the Central American country with current president, Daniel Ortega. The capital is Managua. Yes, Christopher. Nicaragua. Novels in George Orwell's... Oh! Oh, that sound brings an end to this quarterfinal school duel game. As Jose Martin came from behind, going on to beating Miami Palmetto. What a game this was. Jose Martin, you're ending the game with a score of 360. Miami Palmetto, you played an incredible game. You're ending with a score of 340. But Jose Martin Mast, you are going to the semifinals. So congratulations. <laughs> Now, this brings an end to the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge, and today's winner is, drumroll please, Indar from Jose Martin Mass. Yes. Congratulations on your South Florida Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Now, at this time, we'd like to thank our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. And don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved, and you can even watch past shows. And please remember to use the hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m as FAU takes on Park Vista High in another great quarterfinal match. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.